Hey there, this is Rajesh Talele, your friend from Marketo community. Let's talk about coupon codes and Marketo today in Marketo. We are, uh, let's say, talking to a software company uh, who is generating a promotion code or, or an e-commerce site for that matter. A promotion code or a login password combination, it's stored and generated by another system and it is not in Marketo, but it is stored in some other either file system, Google Drive, or maybe even on a database. Uh, uh, something like that if generated by engineering or product team or whatnot now if that is the case we want to, the, the functionality needed is that we want to have a market of powered landing page which will ask for a, a user phrase or some user interface whereby a user a lead can submit a form a market or landing form and run, it will be automatically pick uh, 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 next available promotion code which is unused will be picked up and sent to that person via email and obviously you can add a more business logic to it validations whatnot uh, you know removing competitors and anything anything you can do in marketo you can have all your all the tools to your disposal now let's see how that can be done in marketo as you see here i have a program called next unused promo code uh, and coupon and all that it's a very simple program have one email in it called email with a promo code there's one landing page with a form in it. It have a form called uh, and called lead form. It's a simple three field form and a standard as simple landing page as it can be. And there's a smart campaign. So all very simple, very much doable. Literally, you can do it in like literally five, 10 minutes uh, if you know your way around market on. Now let's see about the landing page. Um, as we see here, um, I'm just gonna open that landing page. And you see here, it basically fetches next with this uh, title. And it says, this waveform shows how easy it is to automatically fetch next and use promo code from a market or smart campaign. So all you do is for the lead will ask first name, last name, email, and company name. Let's say you can add any fields. You can have one field, email address maybe, or you can have all tons of fields, up to you. You can have progressive profile in it. You can have a lot many other things. I have additional JavaScript, what not. UTM parameters, things like that, right? What the simple the end user will do is just simply submit that form. As any usual market of uh, form landing page, you will see a thank you page, simple as it as, as plain vanilla it can be, yes, right? So all that is with that that form, you will see that it will be filled three times. Now if I refresh it, let's refresh it. I mean that's a plain normal market of stuff. So you got three people filled the form. Now so basically, um, that's pretty much it. It's a simple landing page. Um, and then we'll uh, basically, that's the email which will go out, uh, which we have. And that email is again, simple email, which have a simple message. Like, you know, here's your promo code you can use and the promo code and it will be merged with the promo code that uh, simple uh, simple email asset right that's pretty much uh, it as such nothing to it as such and but the real magic happens in this smart campaign here and that smart campaign is again very simple smart campaign all it does it listens to the uh, forms we get submitted as a lead listens to lead form field form and on that page um, and once that is done it's simple um, and there's a simple two-step or two-flow uh, actions, nothing big deal uh, as such. It just calls a webhook and then just sends the email with it, right? It's, that's pretty much the um, simply the simplest logic as such. Now let's see what happens here and the results, whether we got any or not. So if you see here, we got the submission a few minutes back, the webhook got called, the email was sent, right? and uh, we will see whether so that's the basically the web book got called and we can see the promo code and all that we can kind of check that one and when we go basically now you'll say okay and the email will be sent let's see now this particular email you will see that i got this email i'm just driving from my another monitor you will see that it was sent by marketo two minutes back and it was the uh, the promotion code picked by 
market automatically and delivered via email to the end user right simple stuff so that's that now let's see how that thing comes together and that's, uh, that's the same same promo code here which is given by uh, that or fetched by our web book that's simple it is right now let's see how that works and let's see the uh, the web book now this is the web book which is uh, which we have been using it's called get next use promo code and it's giving to a, a third party or a service a launch point service called brighthooks.com a full disclosure i have designed this and implemented myself uh, my name is rajesh talera say and bright aspect uh, bright hooks is a market or launch point partner um, as you see here launch point partner and we can go here and so that we can see um, bright hooks right there so that's the bright hooks library right here you can see this is the uh, uh, the bright hooks and by, powered by bright aspects um, and that's basically uh, we are and this is how the bright hooks uh, web, uh, website looks and this is the demo uh, login i'm using for bright hooks and let's see how that uh, kind of works now before we go there you will see that the bright hooks library you know in this bright hooks web hook we are using the get promo code uh, a web hook we are passing the email address of the person and the user id which will be given by the bright hooks team and when the promo code is returned by bright hooks we are storing it into a, a field called field one which we are merging into the email that's pretty simple here um, now when we go into bright hooks and when we log in uh, we will see that there are uh, the web hook we are using is the promo code lookup and you will see that they were uh, you know several uh, web hook uh, uh, the promotion codes and they are kind of one by one used and if they are kind of getting up you can actually add um, you know at the first time or you can uh, as as we go along we can add new promo codes as you want uh, as you uh, as you go along or you can fill uh, like you know 5000 or whatever in number of uh, depending on your exact need and they will be added uh, as such um, they're just showing uh, you know as such here but they will be automatically picked up the next available or you can actually let's say your engineering gives you a file like this and you can just copy paste and just use it into import you either can import directly from a csv uh, from a browser and the csv or excel or you can just copy and paste right here like this and like we are walking through and we'll say first column header does not have the name and we'll say the map it to the promo code and then we just import data four out of four were processed go back to the list and we have all these promo codes ready now and the next time somebody requests a lead request it will be picked up this one will be picked up and then so forth so on so forth as such and we can actually uh, do more coding as if it is getting over we can do a lot more logic compared to that but that's pretty simple uh, it is i mean it's literally five minutes to set up bright hooks five minutes to literally set up into market or especially if you know and you have done this before that's uh, that easy it is uh, so that's pretty much it it's very simple very easy and now but we would say hey but why the same person getting two i don't want that and that's just for my me to demo that's why i'm it's as simple as just putting the schedule here as just you sort of every time all you do is just allow it only once and that's pretty much it so the next time the same person cannot request the same uh, the promo code again and again and again and that's you know but here for demo purpose i uh, did that and if you see here just to show let's see we will submit just uh, one more uh, one more time and let's see how that works so i'm going to submit one more time and so that we want to see whether the promo code gets um, created or not or, or delivered to me or not and then let's go back and to here and we can actually keep an eye on it and i guess i got the email already uh, 
already got the email we can see here and that is klu is that one i just got it zero minutes back and as we see here that was the one and if i refresh this one it will be marked with my email address and that's pretty much it next time it will not be available for pickup and so on and so forth it will be done pretty uh, pretty simple right i mean that's uh, pretty much it is as such now what are the pros of this is this way first thing it is this kind of functionality is pretty much out of the bounds of market or what market was designed to do or market or does uh, there are ways to do it using javascript and all that but that's a lot of work here as you see here literally to set up bright hooks is five ten minutes at the max uh, you know again half hour or something or even less to set up a program in market all that's pretty much it i mean within literally less definitely less than uh, one hour you're up and running and that's that's the beauty of it is i like to design solutions which are very easy to implement and just not much if there is an easy solution uh, i don't like to create a difficult uh, kind of solution just because i love complexity i would love i always love simple solutions which are just effective and that's pretty much it that was the topic i had with this so as you see no coding no programming you don't need to be a super engineer you don't need to know javascript no xml no json nothing it's all done for you if you can as i say if you can order a book on amazon you can definitely do this and that's, uh, that's the co cool thing about it now what are the cons about it it's a bright hooks is a you know paid service especially this one these four ones are uh, uh, you know they are uh, these web hooks are uh, you know there's a very nominal uh, hosting fee and then one time set up fee but you know given that you you're up and running literally within an hour uh, and that's that sometimes can be a lot of savings as such with no headaches and just uh, time tested mechanism so that's pretty much it uh, and i would love to get your feedback and uh, please uh, reach out to me uh, rajesh talele and uh, i'm one of the champions so i'm sure you will be able to find me in marketo uh, community and uh, that i'm looking forward to hear Thanks for visiting. I hope you uh, guys had uh, enough information today about how to do coupon codes in Marketo. If you have any questions, please, please feel free to reach out to me. I am always at rajesh at brightaspects.com or you can find me up on LinkedIn or on Marketo community. And looking forward to hear from you and uh, looking forward to making more videos such as this. Okay then, take care. Bye.